Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, now it is, uh, it's still Tuesday, but now it is 7.41 p.m. And I got on here to put out an urgent prayer request for all the people who have lost someone in Tennessee this past early morning when two tornadoes ripped through um Central Tennessee, I was listening. One of the videos somebody sent me was no sound. It was just a aerial footage, uh, like a drone. It looked like a drone. It might have been a helicopter, and the sound was muted. But they just went through the path, and it was, it was horrible. And... The, these people, at least they got a little bit of notice. And the ones, they were, uh, this one Channel 5, I believe it was. I watched three of them. Now this one that someone had sent uh, is saying there was 25. The death toll for the evening news is 25 dead and 160 injured. I'm surprised it's not more than that. And there were these three ladies, two of them <laughs> holding these great big old dogs. They were probably, you know, real anxious and scared. And one had a little dog. And uh, they talked about how they just got in a bathtub. That's what you're supposed to do when you hear siren. If you don't have a basement, you get in your bathtub. I I guess it's anchored to the plumbing the best of any Thing in your house so you get in your bathtub but anyway what I wanted to say was if you um I'll link them if you hadn't heard about this or watched any of these this I mean it's like I mean the the, the, the virus situation going on is bad we have more deaths in Washington. I think it was Washington D.C., uh, but now I'm now it might have been Washington State. But you know, mainstream media. I don't believe the numbers they put out are accurate. But does it matter if it's six or sixty? Well, yeah, I think it does. Uh, you know, but people are. Uh, they had time we are we have time to go to our local stores and get what we can if we have to shelter in place like quarantine be quarantined in our home uh i was going to do a video on that uh others have are doing them things you should have on hand and and some people have different lists what I suggest is for each person, whoa, each person to consider what you think you would want. If you couldn't get out to the store, I, a month, if possible, people are grabbing up toilet paper. Uh, and I would get antibacterial hand soap. That's what I bought. So that's why I bought some more things today because I decided it would be prudent to go ahead and ha in case I get a, a bad asthma flare and they think it could be that. So shelter in place, right? Whatever, quarantine. I don't know how they're going to do that here in this kind of a place. But I know I'm not going to get that virus because I'm claiming Psalm 91. No plague or pestilence will enter into my dwelling. But someone else might say otherwise if I'm coughing like I do. Which sounds horrible. But nothing. See, it's a dry cough. So, but no fever. So that's good. Okay. So anyway, antibacterial soap if, and uh, hand sanitizer because we could run out of water. I don't know why 
Why would you run out of water if there's a virus? I mean, wouldn't your plumbing still work? I guess that's for if you've got really bad tap water. Some areas do. I actually use filtering pitchers to filter. Even for Buddy now, I'm filtering his water. But you do what you can. You get what you can. Some short stores, look. The lady that brought my stuff today didn't bring my water. And yet it shows up on the list of what she bought me. And she told me this story of how she puts beverages in a different carton uh, buggy. And puts them in front of the cashiers and tells them, this is my stuff. I'll be getting it when I check out. So she checked out with the water, obviously, or when it got put on my thing, and now I don't have, I didn't get it. It was just two gallons, and, you know, if she needs it that bad, you know, <laughs> it was just 95 cents a jug for two jugs. That's all I got, because I have two. I thought, well, you know, if you need it that bad, you know, can you not buy two jugs of water? They were completely out of drinking water. The whole shelf was empty. She took a picture and showed me what they had. And uh, I took, I said, get the spring water, you know, which you can put your, what you want anyway before they even start. But she, I don't know. Anyway, maybe she was hurrying. She said she was in a big hurry, probably trying to shop for two or three people at one time. I don't think they should do that, but maybe that's how they make more money. The point is, try to get, they're telling you, one gallon per person per pet per day for all those many days. Two weeks, I think they're telling people. Two weeks. And other places are over, I guess, in Asia. They're making them be quarantine longer something different is going on over there if you ask me I don't know I just don't know what to believe but if they're ha if you're having any, it's almost, it's like a panic going on you know that and then you got this we've got, oh my goodness if what if so many what if a whole bunch of these people had just stocked up and now the tornado ripped it all away? Could it be God saying, "Why didn't you trust me?" I was watching that drone footage and how they were tore up, tore up, tore up, tore up, and then these two completely un untouched. I said, "There's some praying people in there." And then tore up, tore up, tore up. And then it's like the thing took a right turn. And this whole block beyond was totally untouched. Tornadoes are wicked, weird things. And they can do that. Or there's some really praying people. Maybe in that first of that whole block. Like my daughter did. She put her hand up and told it to go that way and it did and I believe to this day she made that tornado go a sudden right turn before it hit that hospital anyway the point is I'll link these in the description box this one I didn't watch the whole thing because it's the third one it's getting late this is called people Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, and it's put up by Swift Passage Ministry. I haven't watched him in so long. His name's Duane. <clears throat> anyway, this one over here, I'm telling you for if you can't see the description box, it's called Global News. This is the one where there's talking. It's not as long. Uh, tornado hits Nashville, Tennessee, destroying dozens of buildings, at least nine dead in the state. Now, see, this one was filmed earlier. 
but this one I just told you about filmed later this evening in the death tolls up to 25 and the other one um, all right let me pull it up in my history so I can tell you if you want to watch that drone footage it's called Yeah, I believe it's this one right here where there's no talking. Yeah, it's this one. You just hear music. Now it's called Nashville Tornado Drone Footage Shows Incredible Path of Destruction and Damage. It's horrible. And this is global news also. And this building over here looks completely untouched right across the street. So that tornado must have took a path right straight up. And right over here across the street looks like an apartment building. From what I can tell, the, the uh, across the street buildings were untouched. Or have maybe a little damage right here in the front. It's hard to tell, you know, when <clears throat> there's a drone way up there. And some of it right here you can see real clear. Anyway, I'm going to end this. That's all I wanted to tell you. Please, y'all. Let's pray for the <clears throat> the families who have lost loved ones. Um, and that they will pull together, help each other, which one of the videos was showing that they are. That neighbors um, came and helped this one guy get his... Uh, his business boarded up so they didn't lose anything else or uh, lose files um, to a business their files are really important <laughs> client information you know whatever files are important I should have them on. well I guess I keep hard copies too you know a lot of people do anyway um I'm getting tired. I can't think. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, let me just lead a prayer right now for these people in these, these areas that were hit. I don't know the names of the cities. I think Nashville. I don't know them all. But Lord Jesus, you know each and every person right now that's suffering the loss of a loved one or even a fur baby, their pets, and... They there's missing people and I don't know if they've been found but you can please lead the rescue people to them if they haven't yet been found and I ask you Lord to provide food shelter and comfort to all these people who've lost everything from these tornadoes there was two tornadoes that touched down and ripped through these cities and Lord, we ask you to please just be with these people and their families. In Jesus' precious and holy name I pray. Amen. Amen. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection over myself and each and every one of you. And over your devices and your internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. Um, I will talk to you um hopefully tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, that's it for now.